Come to the end of the road. Hey, I'm Ryan Tedder from Winter Public, and I'm about to play a game of song association with L. They're gonna say a word, and I'm gonna be given 10 seconds to sing or rap that word into an existing hit song that you already know. But before we get into the game, I would like you guys to check out our new album, Shock Surprise, that came out today. It's called Human, it's my band One Republic, our first album in four years. I like to talk and just get my vocal cords to open up, and then I might do like, some runs, stuff like that. So yeah, now I'm warmed up, let's go. Under, one of my favorite cartoons of all time, and uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Um, under the sea, under the sea, things are much better down on it's what to take it from me. You'll be in love another way, I'll have the touch of tiny away. Darling, it's better down on it's what to under the sea. Oh. Cause I want it, cause I, cause I want it all. There we go. Cause, cause I want it all. Or nothing at all. It's how it's supposed to be when you're not there with me. Uh, cause, cause I want it all. Or nothing at all. There we go. Colorado. Easy. Good, good life to my friends in New York. Say hello, my friends in LA. They don't know where I've been for the past few years or so. Paris to China to Colorado. Sometimes there's airplanes you can't jump out. Sometimes bullshit that don't work. Now we have got the stories. But please tell me what's there to complain about. When you're happy like a fool, you let it take you over. When everything is out, you gotta take it in all. This is gonna be a good life. This is gonna be a good life. The moment I knew that I loved music was when I heard Stevie Wonder's I Just Called to Say I Love You on the radio. I just called to say I love you. I just called to say how much I care. I ran over to the piano, and this is when my mom realized that I had an ear for music. And da 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 like, and I picked it out as a four-year-old on the piano, the melody of the whole song. And my mom was like, how did you learn that? I was like, I don't know. I just, I just found the notes, you know? Cut to, you know, 30 years later, um, I'm in the studio producing Stevie Wonder. So me, him, and Ariana are all sitting around by the piano. He's on the piano. And I tell him, I said, Stevie, you know, the first song I ever remember hearing and the first song I learned on piano was I Just Called to Say I Love You. And he was like, is that right? He's like, Oh man, let me tell you a story. He was driving to visit his mother and he felt bad for some reason, like he had been gone too long or he missed her birthday. I think he missed her birthday or something like that. And so he said, in, in the car, he wrote the, that pretty much the majority of the song in his head. And then he got to the, her house, sat down at the piano, worked it out. Then he sat there and he goes, well, I'll tell you what, l let's just sing it together. And he played, I just called to say I love you and me and Ariana harmonized, which I norm I, I hate impromptu harmonization, like people that just, they're the, like those kids in the lunchroom in high school that sit at the, the theater table or the choir table and they're walking around singing three-part harmony. Like, I think that's corny as hell. But because it was Stevie and it was Ariana, it's like, how am I not gonna do this? You know, and he just, he just went straight into it. Like it was definitely one of my peak life experiences, having Stevie Wonder sing the song that got me into music, that got me into a studio with him 30 years later, he sits there and sings me the song and tells me the story behind it. Fun, okay. Fun. All right. I was going through Dynamite. No, it's not in that. Uh, there's also a Pink song that has it in it. I'm just trying to get the melody. So raise a glass, no, is it raise a glass? That should be the most obvious word of all time. And I absolutely have no freaking clue. End. I will come to the end of the road Cause I can't let go It's so natural, do long to me I belong to you
Oh, around the world, 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 around the world. Daft Punk, they're my favorite. Yeah, we played Coachella in 2006, the year that they played Coachella with the Giant Pyramid, and it was like, it basically set the, it, it's what made Coachella Coachella, was that, that year's performance. Madonna and Daft Punk, it was crazy. Bold, bold. <clears throat> I feel like Taylor Swift has used the word bold. Um, bold, bold. Oh. Uh, bold. I feel like Rihanna might use the word bold. Somebody. I'll give you two. Um, Tell me you that somebody. Uh, are you that somebody? Tell me you that somebody. <clears throat> Girl, you move to the big VA. Like uh, Aaliyah, Timbaland. Um, then you also you also have um I am just somebody that I used to know somebody Yeah Somebody Uh I can't it's funny I can't think of the first half of the chorus for some reason it's one of my favorite melodies of all time I'm having an absolute brain fart but I know that he goes Now you're just somebody that I used to know somebody Somebody Gautier and Kimbra one of the best songs of the last 20 years. Over. Out over you. Um. If they ask me what I'm doing, how I'm doing, I will say I'm doing just fine. I'll lie and say that you're not on my mind. But I go, but I go out and I sit down at a table set for two. And finally, I made the names of you. Uh, there's not, nothing left to lose. Da, 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 da. I'm not over you. There you go. One. One love, one life, one need. In the night, we gotta love each other. Like you two, one. Republic. Funny how you did that, because that's definitely, I don't think I ever used the word Republic in any one, one Republic song. Republic? Oh my God. I wish I had way more rap records memorized uh, because Eminem has used every single word in the dictionary and this would be great to pull from. Between Eminem and Nas, we would have knocked this whole thing out already. Thing. Now, can it be part of a word? Like, everything I do, I do for you. There's no love like your love and no other could give more love. There's no way unless you're there all the time, all the way. Everything I do, I do it for you. I'm singing it in like completely the wrong <laughs> order, but that's the Brian Adams record from Robin Hood. Ah, secret. Something that a light throws in, sick of all the instant shit. I'm gonna give all my secrets away. The first moment I heard my song on the radio was J-Lo. I wrote her first single on the album Brave and it was called Do It Well, featuring Ludacris. And I did 100% of the song, so I was super stoked. I worked on it for like two weeks. I was driving up um, Highland in LA listening to KISS FM, because I knew it came out to radio, and the day it premiered, it was like Ryan Seacrest, like, and we got a brand new single from J-Lo, blah, 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 called Do It Well with Ludacris, here he is, and like, he bla and I was driving, and I was like, I wanna record it, but phones couldn't record at that time, so I was just freaking out, I think I called my wife, I remember the verse was, here's the thing, I don't know what you're gonna say, you don't even try to play me anymore, you're just so good, and you're so fine, Got me saying, do it, do it, do it, do it, you're doing it well. Da 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 Luda, Luda, boom, into, Luda, <laughs> into Luda's verse. This song came out and then she shot a video that was in like an S&M club. It was like sadomasochist. It was like the first time she did anything like really gnarly. And I was so proud to tell my mom and my whole family it from, you know, from Connecticut all the way to, to to Colorado that I was like, oh, I did JLo's first single, it's incredible. I sent them the song, they were like, oh my God, this is amazing, congrats. And then the video premieres and my family is deeply religious, like 
Assembly of God, Pen Pentecostal, and that video was an abomination. So like, I was, I remember my aunt, I got, I got like messages from some of my aunts and like relatives, like we're praying for you. This is a slippery slope. And like, this is like the type of stuff Satan loves. Like it was like, it was so over the top just because of this video. I was like, ah, oh, of all the videos, why couldn't it have just been like her dancing in, a, in freaking the Bronx or something? Myself. Myself, it's just me, myself, and I. <laughs> also, Haley Seinfeld. I love myself. I don't care when a bit about me. I love myself. Uh, that's how she uses it. That's the exact melody. The song is actually about masturbation, by the way. I'm letting that cat out of the bag right here. Just so you know. I know the songwriters. <laughs> Save. Oh, yeah. Um... Save your tears for t wait. I can think of the melody. Save your tears for another day. Is that the melody? It's it's the weekend, and the weekend in Ariana. Save your tears. Oh, save your tears for another day. There it is. Save your tears for another day. That's the hook. Save your save your tears. I think I did. I'm gonna give myself a. B plus, <laughs> solid B 89.2. That's my grade for myself. Thanks so much for watching me play Song Association. And for more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to L. Do it now. Also, check out our new One Republic album, Human.